In France, there was a man whom I'd always wanted to meet. Colonel Willy Schunzel, better known as the Butcher of Paris. It was no wonder that he was at the top of the list. It is just that so far no one had succeeded in coming close to him. We had learned that Schunzel wanted to see the looted art in the cathedral. As ever, he followed the siren call of gold. It was reported that every entrance to the interior of the cathedral was blocked, except for one door which led down into the crypt. However, the entire area was heavily guarded. I had to keep my eyes open, but an opportunity always arises. Zotelo, assassin! Etc, etc. Hey there guys, welcome back to the Let's Play for Velvet Assassin. Now this is the first episode I've recorded um, since I was ill the other week. As you can tell by the way my voice keeps crackling, I'm not entirely over it. Uh, quite frankly, there's only so much time you can spend lying around, not really doing much. <clears throat> the house of God. While your throat attempted to Jesus. seize up. Where are you? And uh, what are you your nose pours blood. Forgiveness of your sins. Yeah. So he's hiding out in the church. Now, I can't remember wh how far away from the church am I at this point, I wonder. I'm trying to remember. So yeah, I remember the crypts. So I know I get into the church at some point, obviously. But, uh, ah, there it is. Yeah, church is just over there. Can, there we go. Non-inverted controls are awkward. Or are they inverted? I don't know. Either way, it's just... It's not the camera scheme I'm used to using at this point. It's all very pretty, obviously. Sneaky, sneaky. I am big, so sneaky. Dude over there having a very long cigarette. So, let's go take care of his boyfriend, shall we? Excuse me, monsieur. But using that, were you? Yeah, it's getting better with the control. Picked up the body before it even hit the floor. And you're hitting the floor, someone's apparently dropping a tea tray out there. Very strange. Right. Wait, 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 wait. You're not gonna come investigate? The fact his buddies mysteriously vanished? Like you weren't even looking at him, were you, mate? You're gonna be a perma placement. Yeah. Now some of these guys I don't know why they're actually here. They don't add in any way, shape or form to the difficulty of the level. <sighs> Was für eine yeah, that guy didn't even start patrolling until you try and go and kill him. So I don't know what that was all about. I mean, imagine if you were trying to do, um, it's actually possible to do this game doing a no-kill run. So imagine if you were trying to do, like, say, a no-kill run. He'd be a pain in the ass, because you'd think, ah, just walk past you, and then, oh dear god, suddenly he moves at the last second. Freaks you out, and you run backwards straight into the face of the other guy you were trying to avoid. But yeah. They're going up the ladder, presumably. But first... There'll be goodies here about. Ah, excellent. My goody senses were tingling. That might just be a leg spasm. Who knows, eh? I'm going to get over the bridge in order to get to the church. Well, that said, I think it's one of the longer levels, isn't it? Yeah, there are a couple of these that are broken down into segments. So you'll have an entire level, which is just you sneaking to the location you want to be at. And then the location you want to be at will be a separate level in and of itself. Really? You're humming Nazi war songs? It's kind of cliche, isn't it? Doesn't seem to be anyone else around apart from you, though. Let's see if we can lure this little douchebag over this way, shall we? You're not smoking, so what's the breath thing about? Is it supposed to be particularly cold here over the river? But again, rivers do tend to be quite chilly places. All that body of water seems to slurp down the heat, doesn't it? I can see your shadow. Which way are you going to go, though, matey? You're going to stand there staring at nothing, or... Oh, there we go. Time to move. Now we should go and stand by the other side of the block. It's rather limited AI, after all. Yep. Surprise! Oh dear God. Right in the shrinker. She's a brutal wench, isn't she? And again, some of our most successful spies back during uh, both world wars were actually female. 
the female of the species and all that, right? Scary ass shit, man. Yes. Now, what were you guarding, I wonder? I can go through there or over the fence. Choices, choices. I think technically speaking, I didn't need to kill that guy, did I? I could have just hopped over the uh, over the fence, walked there in the shadows, and then hopped over. Oh, whatever. The extra experience points for killing all these folk, anyway. I'll be on the door. The tactic I've been using a lot in um, a lot of these stealth games, actually hiding behind doors. Oh, speaking of, by the way, for those of you who haven't noticed the change to the um, to the playlist title, uh, this island has been discontinued. Don't you go straight through that door? Damn, when she's got skills. Pick up the shiny key, or oh, the shiny shiny. But, uh, yeah. Yeesh. Nazis are getting all depressed about their position. No, whatever, right? It's a very pretty church. I'm pretty sure that's like the actual 3D model, not just the painting as well. Gorgeous stuff. Oh, uh, what was I thinking of? Yes, Dishonor has been discontinued because, seriously, I, I got bored of that game. I was getting bored of it when I started Dark Souls, but after all these months, I'm, I just can't be bothered. Who got rank? Can't summon any enthusiasm for it whatsoever. I might finish it sort of on my own over the course of the next couple of months in between Let's Play stuff. But yeah, it's uh, been discontinued. It was on the list of games that have been discontinued. There's what? Banjo Kazooie, which I lost due to technical reasons. A load of my footage vanishing. Uh, did I Academy because the mods I was using kept corrupting each other and just a pain in the ass to keep reinstalling different mods and whatnot. And now this, just down to general lack of uh, enthusiasm. Oh, fuck. Damn, I hate the ones that do that. They look like they've set themselves up for a nice long you know, wait somewhere and then abruptly they double back on themselves. So a couple of sections later in the game, with guys who <clears throat> will walk up to like these banister things, stop as if they can like stare out over the, you know, over the view. Fuck. That was the wrong button entirely. I was trying to switch view modes to use my gun to shoot the pool of oil. Please tell me there's a morphine thing back here somewhere. No. Well, god damn it. I waited my more and I found the button. Yeah, well done, Lizzo. It was start, not select. Shoot the oil pool. Burn, 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 burning Nazis of fire. Hmm. Inflammable bastards. Well, a bit of a delay on that joke, I know, but still, the point stands. Quentin Tarantino can. So oh fuck, he's coming this way. Like hmm. This guy all the way over here was mysteriously set on fire. I think I'll go look all the way over there. You know, no reason. Fact when you climb over stuff, they um they very quickly get confused as to where you are because you're on two different sections of the map. Yeah, if you keep doubling back, they very quickly uh, basically it takes down their um, status alert bar very quickly. Which it's supposed to, he says, just as the guy renews his search for no particular reason. Well done. Uh, where's my hidey hole? There it is. Right around the... You know, technically speaking, this really shouldn't work, because... If you know there's a guy here who's just immolated one of your friends, then you probably do a bit more of a forest search than this particular guy's doing. You check all the hidey holes and things. All the dark corners. Speaking of dark corners, I was, um, especially equipment you get is either a gas mask or a flashlight, depending on where you're going. I got given a flashlight for this level, and I've got no idea why. I mean, I don't think you go anywhere particularly dark during this part of the game. And once you get down into the, uh, the crypts, there's so many floodlights and things set up that it's not necessary. In fact, even when you're standing in darkness, there's a faint uh, greenish blue filter applied to the top of the screen. Make sure you can see, you know, still see basically. Your character obviously has that blue glow thing going on when she's in shadow, so you always know where you are. There's no real danger of getting lost or whatever. Let's break the fuse box, turn off that light over there. That'd be helpful. 
But that said, can I just shoot him in the head from where I am? That'd be even more helpful. <laughs> I, mean, I could go over there and fuck with the radio to get him to come over and look at it, but... I would have shoot the bastard in the head. Like this. Marvellous. What if that should have actually worked, considering he's wearing the helmet? No, oh, whatever, right? I always like to break the lights whenever I get a chance as well. <laughs> Why is the uh, paraffin lamp flickering as if it's electric powered? That makes no sense. Awful wobbling. Turn that off. The goodies don't seem to be. Not disappointing. Lock and enter. Loading screen area. Nice. Nice. You know, the only downside to this game is an autosave game. Uh, it just lists your autosaves, which is good. A lot, a lot of games don't, they tend to autosave and then give you no choice about going backwards. But thankfully, this lists your autosaves if you go onto load screen. But it does mean you can't save just for a particularly difficult part of the game and then just carry on. Right. Excuse me there, sir. Smoking's bad for you, son. It'll stunt your growth. Turn that off as well, while I'm here. Right, not sure what that... Ah, it turned off the lights in the, uh, in the building there. So I can use the building as a hidey place. Let's get you right up the corner, out of the way first. Make sure you God damn it. You've got proper collision detection so you bounce sideways. Right. Can I just climb through the window? Nope. The dude over there. Probably a good job that I didn't. Well, god damn. Uh, like to be sneaky. Yeah. Ah, the introduction of the uh, the proper hidey holes mechanic. I forgot about that. There is a way. I can't remember. Wait, there's a way to get you to stand on top of that oil patch, isn't there? <clears throat> Don't seem any particular reason to do it. Cause I mean. All's gonna happen if I do is I'm gonna have to get round to shoot you. You're gonna be set on fire, and then there's at least one other guard around here somewhere. He's gonna come running because you've started screaming, and suddenly there's fire. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Now, if I sneak around the back there. Nothing new to you, Germans, I'm sure. Just hide in the toilet. It's a heart-shaped thing, really. Uh, random feminizing of the game. <clears throat> I suppose it's kind of insulting in a way. The female hallucinations. I'm not sure there'd be hearts and shit everywhere. I imagine there's a pony in here somewhere as well. <clears throat> Come on then. There we go. Fast patrol guy. Pains in the ass, these ones. Actually, um, just speaking of stealth games and stuff, does anyone remember that? Again, I think it was a PS2 game, but I'm not entirely certain. The game where you played, um, a prisoner of war who got shipped to various different German prison camps. I think eventually you ended up in Auschwitz. The whole point was each time you were required to build a network of allies amongst other prisoners. Uh, acquire supplies secretively, sneak around, figuring out you know the layout of the place and ways the guards could be bribed or blackmailed into not messing with you and <clears throat> eventually breaking out of each individual area. I cannot remember the name of the game though. That was a good one as well. So if I can remember what the name is, I might see if I can find it on the PlayStation Network. I know it to be yet another stealthy game. In what has been quite a run of them lately, but uh. So I like that one. Good. There's no point hiding you because you're the only person here. But yes, but no. I'm still not entirely certain what I make of the fact that um. All the ladder stuff is like a little quick flash cutscene. They're more loading screen than. sort of a area traversal. I suppose it makes sense, you know. <clears throat> None of this is built on the same map. These are all different maps. So I didn't actually go 
down onto this section of the map. I just activated a loading screen and was teleported to another one. I suppose it's a shame when you think about it, but it makes sense as well. It's certainly easier for all concerned. There are all sorts of issues that pop up when you try to have one gigantic map that uh, encompasses all the different locations that your player is meant to go to. I'm not sure why I stopped mid sentence, that was weird. Uh, it's just a health kit, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of health lying around for hard mode, I just gotta say. Then again, Mr. Luxe, I've played this before, so it is entirely possible that I'm just not getting caught or whatnot as much as I'm supposed to get caught, maybe. Then again, I don't think that's the case either. I mean, when you play on the higher difficulties, the Nazis can kill you in a couple of shots. If they got a shotgun, they can one-hit kill you. It doesn't matter, really matter how many health kits you got lying around. Hmm. Seems a bit more uh, sparing with the placement of the morphine, though, I do notice. Why have you got barges full of bricks? What sense does that make? Bricks and a uh, mortar. All three defences are built out of sandbags. The rest are, you know, regular buildings you've converted, so what sense does that make? Hmm. I suppose it's useful for rebuilding places that uh, you yourselves have bombed in the process of taking them over. It's always a good way to win over the local populace. Rebuild the damage you caused in the takeover, and then blame the fact that any damage which occurred on their previous leaders not just surrendering as they quote unquote should have done. But yeah, now seems like the time to discuss social politics of, uh, well, warmongering. It's interesting. It needs to be a lot more light than there should be in this area. See, I already turned off the lights. Nice. You'll hide over here real quick. Now you can't see me. We're still in shadow over here. Marvellous. In that case, as soon as he knobs off. Electric Nazi boogaloo over here is uh, for it, basically. Get shank, son. Prison style. No, I do need to get you out of the light, though, because, yeah, that dude is going to spot you if you're standing in the middle of a spotlight. That's kind of the purpose of such things. It even says it in the name. Right. Time to go back to being sneaky. So again, if you play this on the lower difficulties, it's possible just to acquire a couple of guns and just go in and blow everyone away. Sort of third person shooter style. It's a bit more difficult because when you're actually aiming manually, your range of movement is quite severely restricted, especially by the horrendous, horrendous camera controls. The only thing I don't like about this game is the very mechanical way, if I, that's even a real term, the way the camera moves. It tends to move like it's mounted on two brackets that only let you go up, down, left or right. Not quite the free range of movement I'm used to in more modern games. Pool of oil over there. Uh, again, I'd rather just kill you silently. So if I kill you silently, I get special bonus experience points. Oh dear god, wench! What the fuck! Jesus fucking. That was uncalled for. Careful. It was an electric fence, but the switch had to be around here somewhere. What's your problem, love? Fucking. You don't stab a man in the junk? Especially not as a distraction, so you can stab him in the neck. It's just uncalled for in every possible respect. <clears throat> Locked. Mm. First, I had to find the right key. The key had to be here. Well, I'm presuming the switch was in there. Ooh, no, hello. Obviously, totally misremembering this. That's the switch. Right, push the block out of the way. Seems rather unnecessary to have this here. I mean, I imagine it'd be quite challenging if you were trying to. Um. I find the words. You were trying to do a no-kill run, pushing this block out of the way and staying hidden while you did it would be quite a challenge, I imagine. But considering the, you know, the switch itself is somehow lit up, it doesn't really help. Hmm. Yeah. I see plenty of this where this would trouble some. 
Oh. Ich kann es nicht abwarten, Gretel in dieser Uniform zu sehen. Darin wird ihr endlich der Respekt entgegengebracht, der ihr gebührt. Wenn that cute you and your missus are playing dress up, eh? No, oh, whatever. Uh, wardrobe over there I can hide in. No one else in here but you, so whoever this Miss Gressel is, she's not actually there. But you have just reminded me there's a uh, cover system in this, isn't there? Not cover, um, I think of the bloody word. Disguise system, even that's the one. This game was doing it long before Hitman did. Yeah, I can change outfits and the shit. Like, speaking of that prison game that I was going on about, I can't remember if we can find um, disguises in that as well. But they're a very limited use, admittedly. Medkit, don't need that. Nothing else around here. I do need the uniform. Because there's a section of the game coming up. Oh, it's the sniper, isn't it? Fuck, I forgot about him. Yeah, there's a section of the game where you're under sniper watch. Um, so you can't... Well, you could walk, you could try and stealth it, but the moment you step out of stealth, the dude basically shoots you through the head. So there's a couple of areas of the game where there is nowhere to hide. So yeah. How do I change in this? I can't remember. Uh, oh, piss. Oh, thank you, game. Just telling me just I almost got myself caught. Thank you. I'm gonna change clothes. Exit. And there we go. Nazi SS uniform. That makes her ass seem even bigger. My god. And who walks like that? Jesus fucking Christ, love. It's like, um, Sid from Final Fantasy VII all over again. His character model looks like someone's got hold of him by the dick and yanking him forward. Okay, she looks like someone's got a hook up the, uh, the old JJ. It's reeling her in. Fucking hell. That's terrible walking animation, my god. You know, whatever, right? I need to do this once or twice and then I'm out of here. I do like the fact my health bar changes to reflect. Yeah, my current disguise. That's nice. Let's go this way then, shall we? Now, I can't remember how badly running affects your, um... suspicion meter thing down there. <laughs> We're not being entirely certain what winning would affect it. I mean, it's guaranteed anyone running is guaranteed to get more attention than someone who is not running. Got to interact with that door. Yeah, okay. Ladder then, I guess. You're guarding a goodie. I can't be bothered with it. Yeah, here we go. Nazi sniper dime. Oh, something to perv on. Perk of the job. Yeah. Just to let you know. I think if you pop out of there without the disguise on, he should shoot you straight away during the cutscene. I'm pretty sure that's what happens anyway. So thankfully, this is not a very well thought out section to be quite frank. All these guys just patrol in big circles. So as long as I remain on the right hand side, I think it is. I can avoid the guy on the left. And the other dude, he shouldn't get over here quick enough to spot me. Standing in shadows... Doesn't affect my suspicion meter. Even though technically he shouldn't even be able to see me. Interesting. Also it'd be more suspicious, wouldn't it, if a, a presumably upstanding member of the Third Reich was skulking around and trying to avoid all the others. Hmm. Right, careful. It's very hot. It's actually surprisingly difficult to do this. With um, a gamepad. I should imagine it'd be even harder trying to do it on. Um... Yes, yes, I know. But, uh, yeah. I should be even harder trying to do this with a keyboard. In fact, how would you walk with a keyboard? You couldn't, could you? You'd have to run by default. Can't see that ending particularly well. 
I never remember how to do this next section. I need to get see those big um, wrought iron gates they've put in place. I need to get past those. I cannot for the life of me remember how I do that. I can't remember whether they're already open or there's a key in that guard hut. Hmm. A most befuddling mystery. Wait for him to fuck off again and then uh, we'll go have a look. Right. There he goes. <clears throat> and why? What? Why my suspicion bar going down? That's weird. All oh, right, it's based on um, proximity, not line of sight, isn't it? So even though technically speaking, no one can actually see me back here, if any of them walk close enough to my pos uh, to my position, I could still get discovered. Right. Ah. Uh... He's nobbing off over there. I mean, I've actually got a, what? A 20 second window to get over there and figure out what the fuck I need to do? We're him to come back again. And as soon as he leaves this time, we go. I should stay. As long as I hug this wall to the left here, I should stay far enough away from all of them to uh, very least make it over there. Considering the game hasn't saved in a while, it's going to be a pain in the ass if I have to uh, do this more than once. Uh, nothing in the guard. Oh, door! Door! Ah, there we go. That works. Be careful here in case there's anyone around here. I don't think there is. Excellent. Somebody coughing, though. Sneaky time. Ah, good, we're back to stealth sections here, aren't we? At least for this bit, anyway. There's a pain in the ass section, like, right after this, where I need to switch back to my uniform, but... Yeah. For now, at least, this part is better done sneaking. It's always fine, it is, anyway. Right. He goes over there, into the garden. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the smell of the roses. The last thing you will ever smell, matey boy. Go into the building. <clears throat> Much stealthier this way, you see. <laughs> Another fucking make it. Awesome. For all those times I got shot and things, right? Let's see if any of them spot you during that little sneaky section. Well, this entire game is a sneaky section. In the uh, disguise section, even. Pretty much, there's like six of them. You're dead the moment any of them spot you. Quite literally. Even on uh, normal or easy, you're dead the moment any of them see you, so... Why you even bother putting a health, health kit there, I'm not entirely certain. I mean, I suppose if you zigged and zagged enough, you could just run straight from one end to the other. You might avoid the uh, attention of the sniper. Might being the optimum word. Or at the very least, to avoid his aim anyway. Not his attention. He's going to spot you, but you might be able to stay out of uh, the killing shot. Because much like shotguns, sniper rifles are one-hit kill weapons in this game. It's great when you're wielding them, but not so much fun when it's the others. They can actually go in this way. Notice you guys in the garden. Can I just go straight in the door? Nope, doesn't even register as a door. It's a painting of a door, naturally. God damn it. Would it really have been so hard just to say, it's locked? Or some such, you know? Did my mouse cursor just flush up? That's weird. It's happened to me a couple of times playing this game. So it suddenly seems to forget that the mouse cursor is supposed to be hidden during this, and it appears. Because the mouse cursor is technically tied to what my gamepad's doing. You'll see it moving around as I turn the camera and things. It's really bizarre. Time to be ever so sneaky! In the neck. Now get round here, because I want you to find that body. You'll spend at least six, seven seconds staring at it before you start searching for me. There we go. He's got a shotgun as well. If I fuck this up, he's going to kill me in one blow. Uh, 
Good night, sweetheart. I've got to go. What? Ah, pissed there was a third guy. No, don't go into... There we go. Morphine mode. Stab! Like a knife to the heart and violets to blame. She gives Nazis heartburn, heartburn. Any goodies hidden around here? Ooh, morphine. Mine. It's mine. There we go. All the drugs. All the drugs belong to Violet. Semi-careful here. Pretty sure there's no more Nazis until the next map area, but... Let's try not to fuck it up, eh? Oh, piss. He says almost running straight, face first into one. That'd be awkward to explain. Uh, hi. Uh... Uh, Spracken Z lost? Uh, boom! It's locked from the other side. That was an easy way around that. I just whistle you over here, you presumably unlock it to come after me, and we go from there. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Now is the time. Seriously, move your fucking ass. There we go. Right. Oh, you are kidding me, right? And he spotted. How did you spot me in the shadows? I'm calling bullshit there, mate. You should have walked straight towards the gate. You know, whatever. I'm gonna stab your ass. Just like so! You fucking idiot. How'd you miss me? Really? Got a key anyway. That's something, right? Don't seem to be any goodies hidden around here. What time is it? Ooh, fuck. It's like half an hour already. We have to do. Uh... I'll, go... I'll go through the door and then we'll end it there. Bit of a cliffhanger for you all. See you next time, folks. Bye bye.